prepare ourselves for another exciting day at the Slayer's Take. Bah, 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 bah. That's my intro to my video. It's crap. Um, so what did the Slayer um, take, then? The Slayer took uh, the flesh <laughs> and the teeth and kidneys. Oh, right. Because that's yeah, what they were paid to do. Yeah, we don't have to take much anymore, do we? We yeah. can just, like, go and murder things. Yeah, it's the, the like... Slayer's slaying. We yeah. take five. Yeah, it's just because, like, they pass new laws that you can't, like, or harvest animals anymore, and beasts, and monsters. Well, we, we used to make our, our stories a little more like, kill the animal, collect the bits, but it's not very interesting for the GM, and it's not particularly yeah. interesting for the players. So it's more fun to make a little, little you know, it's just a bit formulaic. Ooh, ooh, shiny I dice. I got new dice. Pretty dice. Ooh. It's blue and pink. Oh, I don't see you. I see everyone else, but not you. The camera just um, came on and right to the Let me show you. I have um, blue and green. Cthulhu dice. Oh. And I have this one, which is blue and orange. Ooh, that's a cool one, Matt. Yeah, that's my Cthulhu dice. Oh, nice. It's dangerous, so I keep it inside a mimic. Um, <laughs> Reconnect to see. That's see cool. That. My friends really like this one. It looks really cheap. It's just, it's just like 50 cents. It's like lilac and minty green. I also I have... Lilac and gooseberries. I also have my big metal dice. Ooh, nice. Which roll like this. <laughs> I actually ordered more dice because dice. Because <laughs> dice. Cause you're I get like a blue and black one, a blue and green one, and a blue and... Oh, or and a green and orange one, which you're is you're one of these fabled like crazy Laura Bailey dice collector people. I've never actually had one in my game. <laughs> it's normally <laughs> who has to bring all the dice to the game. And... I think that like there's such a thing as like an obsession of having many different types of things for one particular purpose, like having many vape juices or your vaping. <laughs> or many yeah, I mean, for a game or yeah. many. Just... I mean, it's like my friends, they don't actually have the dice, and I want each one to have, like, you know, their yeah. own little dice so we don't have to pass everything around all the time. It's one of the GM curses. Like, you GM, and unless your players are very into it, the odds are, as a GM, you're basically expected to bring everything. So, all right, here's all the dice. Oh, I brought pencils, too. Oh, yeah, no, I've got an extra copy of the player's rule book, so you can pass it around. <laughs> Until, until you find a group of people who are like, yeah, I'm already obsessed. And it's like, ah, good, you'll have your own dice. But anyway, um, dice chat aside, you guys gather in the Slayer's Take for a contract today. We see Gaunter, who I believe has like a disguise now, looks a little different. He, he looks like the same robes, but like his face is like no longer melted. It's like a normal looking face now. The smell, you know, the smell is still there. In part, but he's no longer like a ghastly figure. Yeah, you just look kind of a bit, a bit homeless as opposed to a leper. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Cool. So hobo wizard is in session. Uh, so we see you kind of slink in, keeping yourself kind of back a little shyly. Uh, we see Andre come in, big maul over one shoulder. Ginger beard flapping in the fan breeze because Merton has a fan on his desk because it's hot today. <laughs> um, anything else you want to point out about uh, Andre today? Uh, he's wearing lightning, um, lightning shade sunglasses. Oh, that's right. Are. You have the worst. Like, <laughs> Shit, could you could you put those in Discord real quick and I will. So people, because those are the worst. So you look kind of like Viking Kanye West. Um, oh god, I take them off. <laughs> <laughs> you a giant. Hackable you know, style. You a giant. Yes. <laughs> Took a lot of googling to find the worst ones I could. Yeah, there they are. Lightning Kanye West. Imagine they have really like awful LEDs as well that just kind of like flash across. <laughs> when I'm not That's the magic. That's the magic. When I'm not underground, they're like stuffed into the top of my tunic hanging out the front of it. Just All right. for the extra swaggery. You only put on your sunglasses when you're inside. Do you also have like a second sunglasses so you switch out? You always have one hanging, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they've got those um, little uh, sh the shade parts that you can just flip down for sunshine. 
flips them back up. <laughs> All right, and so he's... so behind Storm Wrangler, ah, oh, Bulbasaur. Behind Storm Wrangler comes uh, Finbar, and the camera has to like drop down <clears> a few feet to go from Andre to Finbar. <laughs> A good, a good few feet, about half his feet. <laughs> mm. ah. What does uh, what does Finbar look like today? Uh, Finbar has learned from his last trip into the sewers and is wearing like, like pull up, like you know, the little uh, what do you call them, the little waiter pants. Little oh, bright yellow, oh, you've got little like uh, dungarees on. Yeah, he's got bright yellow dungarees. Got like meant to be waterproof. Pulled up over him. <laughs> Sorry, a... no, it's just well, usually... random giant robot coming into screen for a second there. All right, so you've got your dungarees on. The dungarees are filled with knives. Um, yep. Yeah. Like they were waterproof, but there's just so many like knives just poking through them. <laughs> it's just full of holes. Oh yeah, you you couldn't um you couldn't get enough storage, so you just started sticking them through the dungarees to make them. Yeah, like... just... yeah, absolutely. If you I, ever I want, store knives in my pants all the time. If you if you ever decided your character wanted to wear like more armory armor, like chainmail, I would I want the chainmail just to be all the knives you wear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not scale mail. It's knife. Mail. It's knife mail exactly. Uh, and then kind of coming in, keeping yourself as far away from Gaunter as possible is uh, Cadence, uh, pink bubbly sorceress. Anything you wanted to sort of say about Cadence as she comes in? Uh, hang on. No, 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 no. no. There we go. Uh, Cadence looks a little flustered. She lost her book about turtles. She doesn't oh. remember where she left it. Wait, which book about turtles? Because I feel she had like four. One of them. But it turns out that she was she was holding the book upside down because she thought that a picture of a turtle that was laying on his back was like printed upside down into the book. So she was holding it upside down so that the turtle was upright. Uh, All I know about turtles is they're good eating. Now, is this the one that you borrowed from uh, Mezero? No, it's one of the ones you're sure. Okay, yeah. I can cancel the Assassin Squad then. Uh, <laughs> cool, cool. All right. I mean, so either Quinn has it or Rogar. You look a little, little bit flustered, but, you know, really. <laughs> and sitting behind his deck is, desk is Merton, who's uh, sitting there. Um, it's like, oh, good, good. Uh, oh, look, look, I have pretty much the, uh, the same team as last time went into the sewers. Except for that no good fucking snitch. Um <laughs> well, he he was doing his job just like we are doing our own. Snitches get stitches, Gunter. You'd be good to remember that. Now yes, uh so today's mission is a fairly um well, simple monster hunty affair. You saw it troll last time you were down there. Um I understand it had uh, some strange properties. It appeared to be um rotting. Uh, throw of rot, if you will. Uh, the knowledge of these Benoists has become um, distressing to the people of the town, and they have, well, I say town, the city of Vasselheim. Uh, as such, some nobles have gotten some money together to send you back down underground in order to kill this troll once and for all. So, your mission is effectively to find its lair, uh, find it there, and uh, kill the troll. Once you've killed it, uh, if you could bring back as much of its blood, I'll give you a container for that. Uh, as you can, I'm sure we can use that for potion crafting. Uh, or at least someone can, and we can sell it to them for potion crafting. Any uh, any other questions? Uh, no, so much question. Could go to have make a perception check to see if... What, is there someone under Merton's desk at the moment, like, did we interrupt something? Perception. Uh, perception check, I guess. No, there's no... Why would there be someone under his desk? I mean, I don't know. It's a hot day <laughs> out. Merton has, you know, sometimes he has appointments, you know. Um, I have a question. So, do we think that we're going to run into aberration, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead in the sewers? I blinks at you and looks thoughtful and is like, well, it's the sewers. Um, there could be anything really down there. Um, oh. They tend to get a little more. But I, I don't think you'll find celestials down there or, or fey. But uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a troll. Trolls are giants by nature. Yeah, I'm just debating on which spell I should prepare. You already prepared your spells when you woke up today. 
Yeah, no. See, that could possibly be under Merton's desk. It's just Nipple Flop's body that he still just like stabs every now and again, <laughs> being, the <fuck laughs> being a goddamn snitch. Yeah. Look, Merton, Mer Mer Merton's a rogue, all right. He has a low opinion on snitches. <laughs> hmm. Well, it seems pretty simple enough. Uh, do we have any idea of the region of the sewers we're going to? Think we should know. Well, uh, you'll go probably through the same entrance you did before. Um, since we have mostly the same team as last time, apart from Dirty Snitches, <laughs> um, you should be able to, um, you know the kind of where to go, or you know more than anyone really, the area the troll was active in. Hmm. I would rather not go down the troll hole that uh, last time. It's a uh, slightly... Uh, oh, and the uh, other thing... It worked out fine for me. In the end, we, we got a bit worried. Oh. Uh, that is a question. How much would Finbar know about trolls and... So what was that? You broke up a little bit. How much would I have Finbar know about trolls and fire? Yeah, I'll roll a history check. I know we all have that bit of player knowledge because it's pretty commonplace, but... Yeah. It sounds like... like it should be probably like world knowledge too. Like I, how don't, I, think it let, I don't think... No, you, you've not really heard any. I think we need stories. acid, guys. I mean, Pretty acid, sure trolls acid, problems with acid. Acid does, acid does actually work on trolls. Oh, so. does it? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so. hey, we... my... oh, I've been Finn, not troll. Yeah, you don't really know much about trolls beyond the fact they're big and scary, unless you fought them before. Bear. I don't think I've ever fought one. I'm not sure. Oh. Well, I think I went to that place where we fought your giant one with all the other trolls in it. Oh, the dire troll. Yeah. Yeah, you would know. Yeah, Finbar was there for that. You would remember that that one needed to be killed by fire. Like, yeah. Until you killed that oh, one. Oh, I fire. was there. But, yeah. Until I you, think. Until yeah. you burned that one, it was effectively like. You had to really burn the fuck out of that one to kill it. That, that, that thing really needed to be burned. Uh, I have fire things. It's okay. All right. Well, we got two of you, you'll be fine. I was going to waste a load of money on other kinds of fire, but, uh... And Gaunter probably also has a fire spell or two. I... I'm most certain Gaunter has fire. Mm-hmm. I'm parking heat. <laughs> well, well, it seems uh, you're quite well equipped. Yeah, so I think you'll do well for this mission. That is uh, part of the reason why we have picked you. So, you, uh, just go to the same entrance you did before, and, um... Well, yeah, you you know better than me where the troll will be. All right. I mean, I don't, but no, just just keep close to the others. They've been down there before. I... There isn't a known reason why it would be rotting the way it is there, like um, well, a, uh... a, a troll-specific disease in the sewers that everyone but me knows about. Well, I don't know about troll-specific diseases, but uh, trolls themselves are actually. Um prone to mutation. Uh, they heal very quickly and uh, absorb much of what hurts them or eats them. So um, there's a good chance that if um, this troll is some form of troll mutation. Do all trolls have like the thing with the, the fire or are there like different types of trolls? Kind of like there are different types of dragons. There, there are different types of troll mutation. Mm. Uh, most have problems with fire oh. but not all. I all right. Don't even mention troll dragons. Ugh. Ooh, oh, yes. you never, you kinda... never run oh. into a troll dragon. Uh, go up there, was. Matt said, uh, jumps off for a second, go create an answer. Mm -hmm. We're troll back. Troll dragon. <laughs> Walter had seen the troll previously. Could he, like, make a, like, a karma check belatedly to say, like, what sort of troll was that? Was it kind like, a of. There, there's, troll? Not, there's not a ton of writing on trolls, <laughs> you know. It didn't seem zombie to you. It was far too, like, animated. It just looked like it was, like, Diseased and rotting. You can make a check. It doesn't mean I'm going to tell you anything. I'm going to make... Uh, what sort of check? I don't know. Whatever you want. I'll go with medicine, because why not? Cool. Uh, it looked sick. Uh, there was a, a necrosis to it. It didn't look like it was healing as fast as other trolls. Like, there were open pussy wounds on it. Um, however, it, um, it hit pretty far. It also had, like infection around its mouth and stuff so 
Kind of like a Komodo dragon. You don't want to get bitten by it because it's got so much rotted meat in its mouth. You reckon this thing bites with a, a lot of rotted, uh, rotted force. Um, Andre takes one look at his slightly fragile looking teammates and swaps his hammer for a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I take it you guys head off. Yeah, Finbar's already looking for a sewer entrance. Alright, I mean, you, you know where the f sewer entrance was from last time, so... Uh, you can wander... You give him the same key, you know, the big crowbar thing? Yeah, yeah, you can give him the same key. So you go over, you find your sewer entrance key, you plop, plop open the sewer grate next to kind of the market district and you climb yourselves down into the sewer um, you find yourself in like a large storm drain uh, but you all know like this is just the beginning it takes the sewers are large and expansive under vast slime it takes a, a fair bit of wandering to get anywhere hmm. I sing sea shanties loudly as we go okay um, is someone sort of so it's dark down here. Does everyone have a uh, dark vision? I do. As of last night. Yep. Well, I slide on my uh, shade. All right, you unflick the visors. Everyone groans. Uh, <laughs> and you start... the latest fashion. You. <laughs> That's what that man told me. That's what they told me on that ship in the middle of the ocean. Uh, Gonta changes his appearance to also have these ridiculous sunglasses. Great. Wonderful. So we have the happy, happiness bunch of underground people ever. All right, uh, you wander for a while. Uh, you need to re try to retrace your steps to where you, um, where you were before. Um, where, where exactly are you? Um, who, who's leading? Who is who's sort of leading this expedition underground? Because someone's gonna have to try and mem like go by memory to where you kind of ran into the troll before. Going to do it. I am. He, well, either Andre, I'm going to do it. Wait, I can give you some assistance, even though I've never been here. You, you can have some guidance. All right, guidance. Um, <laughs> so Andre I, is going first because if something slams into us from the front, he's the one least likely to be one shot. So That's Andre true. has the guidance. All right, Andre experience. has guidance. Um, Finbar is going to hang around right behind him and what right. keep it. So, uh, Andre, could you make a survival check for me? Uh, with advantage, I think, because people are helping you. Well, you didn't fucking need it. You knew exactly where you were going. I am. <clears throat> hang on, hang on. Eh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a chance to get up to 30 there without expertise. That would have been a thing. <laughs> All right. So you wander through these sewers for a time, uh, retracing your steps. And you're pretty sure you, find, you found your way into the... The area of the sewers that is frequented by the troll. Uh, I think Andre at one stage stops and points at a wall, and there's like a big gash going along the wall where something's large claws have rendered. You find the intersection where you found the bodies of the dead cultists last time you were down here. Uh, mm -hmm. You're definitely on the right track. What uh, language do trolls speak? Um, you're, troll? you're not. You're Screaming. Not sure, but. Uh, they 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 might speak orcish or giant or something like that. Mm. Are the uh, bodies still here? Uh no, they are gone. Although there is some like little splatters of blood and like maybe a few little chunks of gristle. Oh, yeah. Looks like so something's eating them. That's uh, still pretty horrifying. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you continue on for a little while, and then after a time, you begin to hear. Um, voices up ahead. You can hear what sounds like uh, loud arguing. Do you hear that? What language? I do. Uh, they seem to be talking in common. Ooh. Although the voices sound... One of the voices sounds very high-pitched and the other sounds very deep. Seriously, so I'm going to go take a look. Oh, Wait, Finbar, if you're going to take a look, have some guidance. Wait, what, what's Finbar? <laughs> Like, I want to mention it every time that I'll do that, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Finbar slips away. Uh, 27 is perfectly fine. So, Finbar, you sweep away, flit, uh, flit away through the corridors. You find this little bend in the nearest uh, pipe. You go down that pipe. And you can find a busy intersection with uh, some water, like, trickling down it. You see a strange sight. There is um, a large group of greasy 
slimy cobalts um, with a <laughs> gelatinous cube with Herc's face in the middle uh, who are currently engaged in an argument with another cobalt who is much better dressed uh, with a little crown on his head um, <clears throat> and has several mechanized creatures around him. And they are oh. currently arguing. So I'm going, I'll tell you right now, boy, these here, these are my fine cultists and you ain't you ain't having your hands on none of them. Like, Sir, look, it's important that this merger goes ahead as planned, all right? All cobalts within the city are being merged into the cobalt reserve because, well, that's what we're doing. We, were ha- we are going to offer you a handsome buyout package. You can't be buying my little cobalt buddies. They belong to Yogg. And yeah, you can just hear this is like very like animated argument going on between this um, gelatinous cube of Herc's face and um, one of the bankers <laughs> from the Cobalt Resolve. Uh, I gotta dip back quickly that, to the others. Does that mean <laughs> that the what's it called the Cobalt proposal is gonna shut down because they have to work at the bank now? They're they're outside of Vasselheim, so they're <laughs> for now they're okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we both gotta nip back and tell the others this song. That, oh, that's kind of weird. We're gonna Why? help the cube, of course. It helped us. And those no, cobalts should... helped me when I got lost down the sewers. We owe them. Finbob, what do you think do we? we should do? Do you have, like, any thoughts in your mind that are just running rampant about what mm. to do with these cobalts? Shouldn't we help the, the, the bankers? I mean... Ah, uh, don't help the narcs. Gotta go help out, her, help out our friend. Uh, well... Come on, let's go. Do you even have to take sides? I mean... You always take a side. You don't take a side, you get shanked. <laughs> Alright, so Finbar takes off ahead. Um, no, always so expressive. Andre. Uh, so I've taken you to a new map. Well, let me just double check. I've actually got dynamic lighting and everything on. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, it's Definitely pick up message next game. <laughs> awesome. Uh, do you have dark vision on your token, Andre, or...? Uh, yeah, I put it on last okay, night. Cool, cool. Nice. Excellent. Just check I can see and stuff, so... Excellent. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, you can hear um, kind of shouting uh, ahead of you. Uh, animated back and forth conversation. Hmm. Right, that must be them. Do we want to go up and say hi? Good idea. Sure. Are we all going, or just you guys? Do, 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 do. Hey! Come if you want. Do, do, do. Oh, hello. Leave me behind. Okay, so you come around the ah. corner, uh, and the the fighting like stops for a second. I'm like, ah, what the? And um, the Herculatrum looks your way. Uh, Cadence has never seen this before. It is a gelatinous cube, so a big cube of jelly, but it has a uh, high priest Herclock's face. Uh, kind of just made out of gelatin on it. All right. And he looks at me and goes, Ah, Finbar, my boy. And Andre, too. It's good to see you down in the sewers once again. And, um... The, what's, uh, the, the other, what's the, going on here? The little Sorry. fellow up here goes, Oh, account holders 6654 and 55912. Welcome. We, we could use your help. This gelatinous cube is not handing over important bank property, i.e. cobalts. You, we need your help to get them back straight away. Wait! And I, I start speaking the banking language that I learned <laughs> because of my background. Because <laughs> I don't speak cobalt, but I speak banking language. Alright, so you start talking about carrying where, equity and Where is and the contract to, to, to show that these cobalts belong to you? I would assume that there's a contract. Alright, so... It, you banking just... language is just a free casting of sleep. <laughs> so, to everyone else, it just sounds like uh, Cadence just became really, really smart. But that's not what it actually is. It's just that they're very good at covering up um, the stupidity of their system with complicated language. Um, so you mean that the, the um, divested investments? <laughs> divested investments, investments. Yeah, the uh, banker's like, ooh, someone who, someone who speaks proper, like you know, bankies. It's like, oh, good, come here, girl, and like, I'm not going to attempt to speak like a banker because no. <laughs> uh, but he like calls you over. It's like he's got a contract. Bank, bank, bank. bank. I will inspect the contract for any fine prints. All right. Yeah, you, you go over. He comes down a little bit. So yeah, he shows you it. Um, 
The contract is pretty simple. It just states that all Cobalts who live within Vasselheim are now employees of the Cobalt Resolve, <coughs> or Cobalt Reserve. Uh, signed by? Signed by Bob. Co-signed <laughs> by Bob's boss. Co- it just says upper management. Um, Bob's got a boss? Fuck. Upper management. Um, it's like, right, well, see- if... If these kobolds didn't agree to this contract that you have clearly either signed yourself or your, um, what's the word? English, please help me. Or your boss signed it. Um, then these kobolds that clearly just entered the city through the sewers are not actually residents of Faselheim and also they did not agree to this contract. If your management says, oh, well, I'm going to sign this and then everyone has to that's that's not how it works. Like I I know my banking stuff, and that's not how it works. It is for cobalts. Sounds like slavery to me. <laughs> you got um, to understand it's different for cobalts. Cobalts are always in some form or subservient to a more powerful group. The yes, and these other... cobalts that just entered the city are obviously already enslaved by this gelatinous cube. Well, perhaps they are enslaved for this Justice Cube, so we should kill the Justice Cube and take the Cobalts. You are correct. That is a good system. So are you sure you want these Cobalts? They look pretty greasy. I mean, we can clean them up, hose them down. They'll be perfectly... You don't think you can. Look, look, look. look. That's our sweat now. We we need your help with this, and we're willing to pay each of you 100 gold to help us get these Cobalts. Mm. 100 gold for our life. What, what what is your counter offer? Uh, I mean, I do not have any uh, gold. I am currently just a square blob of gelatin. <laughs> uh, let me just check inside, and the head like the face like turns around and looks inside his own body. <laughs> uh, oh, I I did roll over a silver piece. It seems <laughs> I can give you that, and uh, I can give you the blessing of Yog. Uh, mm, I... Uh, I can promise you the blessing of Yog himself. Maybe just a silver piece. But, uh... Look, uh, I, I'm not sure what uh, you're doing here, why you want all the kobolds underneath it, but maybe you should ask them what they want to do. We worship Yogg! We worship Yogg! We worship okay, Yogg! So they, the herd they, doesn't eat us! They, mm, okay, I was I was sold up until the last <laughs> sentence, and now I'm kind of confused. Could I go into insight to see if they're like... Would they would the cobalts rather just you know become bankers? <laughs> would they remain? Sure, I mean, roll, 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 away. roll, like roll an insight way. check. This guy trying to gentrify the sewers. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, you don't know, man. Cobalts, they're weird. Can I also make an insight check? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you. Thirteen. Eh. I mean. Cobalts are odd. They are naturally a subservient people. Uh, they tend to just follow whoever is strongest and follow them, like, um, <laughs> with a great deal of passion. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you don't know. They'd probably be happy either way. Um, but, you know, they, they seem happy working for the Hercolactrum. They might be happy as bankers, too. Um, kind of shitty that these guys are coming and taking them over, but that's kind of how cobalts roll. Look, uh, bank- Mr. Banker, buddy, uh, these, these cobalts are right now. But, uh, well, it's pretty dangerous out in these sewers, so eventually something will probably happen and they'll all be free and looking for somewhere to go. Uh, maybe you should work on incentives rather than uh, forcing them along. I uh, mean, our, our incentive package is they get to work in the bank and not die. It's a good incentive package. It involves not like dying. Great, great deal for uh, Cobalt. Uh, looking at these mechanical things? Yeah. Uh, what's by them? Are like, they being ridden by the guys to the no, right? No, no, they're like standing there like uh, guard dogs almost. Wait. So if the natural state of a kobold is Servian, I'm just going to walk over and be like, I claim you as a servant. Uh, You're my kobold now. I, uh, I, oh, would, I, already have one? For, 
I already work for uh, for Bob and upper management, and they're a lot scarier than you are, sir. Well, hey, no, you work for us. That's how this Can works, I also right? have one of the kobolds? Hello, what is your name, little kobold? <laughs> Not those ones, Cadence. These mm. ones. I did What's the diff? Hi, Dimnuck. I'm Cadence. Hi, Cadence. Where did you come from? Got an eye, <laughs> I lived that's in. I always live in sewers. I born here. That's that's a really funny joke. You know, if you come with us, you can live outside of the sewers, but you know, still inside at the daytime, because I know that you guys are kind of sensitive. Uh, Gaunt is going to be casting a spell. I think I have to say first. Um, does it have somatic, verbal, or material components? Well, I'm, I'm, what I want, I'm, the thing is, I am casting a non-combat spell, but it is the spell, so I have to do it, because it's verbal somatic. Uh, what's the spell? Yeah. Tell me that, first and foremost. He, go on, uh, I'm going to disguise self again. Oh, but, uh, that's fine. I think you can flick between disguise senses fairly easily. Yeah, Gaunt is going to uh, switch to his appearance to reveal, quote-unquote, to be a kobold. Boss, the bob. <laughs> like... A giant, oh, you turn, you turn five into, foot tall cobalt. You turn into a five I, foot I tall version of Bob. I, I turn into a cobalt, but I also turn so that my legs seem like I'm on stilts. So it seems like this is more a clever ruse. <laughs> <laughs> you were so slow to get these. You're fired. You're fired. You're, you're too bad at this job. I, I came up. You're too bad. You're fired. Nick Nack, do you know who that is? Uh, let me just, first of all, let me see if the Cobalt, uh, sees for your illusion. DC 15. Uh, it's not your DC, it's the hat's DC. No, it's mine, the hat doesn't have a base DC. Uh, if it doesn't have a base DC, it's like just, it's just like 10. It's not your DC. No, I'm a spell, no, it's a base DC if I'm not a spell cast. If it has a, like... It's, it well, does, let's roll and see what I get have... first of all, then we can have the conversation. So it's investigation, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's 13, so it does matter. So I've always understood that like, items like this, they uh, they kind of just come with a base, like a base, like well, the DC is effectively just... Yeah, they often state if they have a specific DC, like with a wand of fireballs. If it doesn't state it, you use a spellcasting modifier. If you're not a spellcaster, it's just 8 plus your proficiency because you're not a spellcaster. Let me just check. It allows me to cast the sky self at will, and I'm a wizard. Disguise DC. What DC checks to have skies. Against Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So yeah, he does not pass. So roll a then you get to roll a deception check. With disadvantage because he saw you transform. <laughs> Well, he. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't need that many negatives, you know. But it's fine. Deception. Yep. Double nine twenties. Well, you know, I, I, I'm at a minus one. You know, this is pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I went to. I was at Bob's wedding. I know that you're not him. This is ridiculous. Nice Did try. Did you roll though. an insight check though? Oh, I mean, it's just a ten. I'm not rolling an insight check. It's fine. I mean, you're, you're asking me to roll deception. Yeah, I was giving you a base DC. I wasn't going to make him roll. So he's like, no, this is ridiculous. You guys, now, I under I respect your attempt to be tricky and get around doing what is right. That's the banking way. But here's the deal. You guys need to choose a side here. I Or leave. I think this is going to come to blows. So, Nick Nack, have you ever thought of being a banker? Ah, uh, no. I don't know what a bank is. Do you like living in the sewers? Yeah, it's great. It's like a cave, but with more poo. Oh, what about <laughs> a place where you can live that's not full of poo? Why would I want to live in a place not full of poo? So that doesn't stink. Mm, never and really... I can come visit you anytime. Well, that'd be nice. I like friends. Mm-hmm. Ah... Uh, I don't know. The Hercalactrum says that if we stay down here, Yogg will love us. But who is Yogg? Yogg is the great... He's what Hercalactrum talks about a lot. I mean, I can teach you about Saren Ray. She's really nice as well. 
uh, uh, Cadence, my dear, are you, are you converting one of my converts? That's, that's very rude. You... No, what makes you think that? I'm not smart enough to do that. I mean, you know, I don't like to judge people based upon their alternative brain powers. <laughs> I always took you for a, a lass with ample... No, that would be a lie, and I don't like lying. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty dumb, but still. I'm very dumb. I don't know why you would think that I'm able to convert one of your kobolds. That seems so weird. You're making that creepy cult voice people do sometimes after they've been <laughs> young for a while. <laughs> I don't like it. Thank you. Just... Uh, sorry, but mm. it's probably going to come down to this. We need that fellow's help, and I'm pretty sure you're just going to splash him after manage to get all the kobolds together. And uh, we kind of owe him, our, owe him our life, and he's also we also need him to guide. So, uh, this isn't going to end very well if you, if you continue to hang around here. Nick-Nick, do you know where the troll is? I don't know what a troll is. Like a big scary monster, but not like Herc. He was about to point at Herc. Uh, he <laughs> points at Andre. Um... <laughs> no, like big, like really big. Like it's really big. No, like almost up to the ceiling. Points at Andre again. Well, um, he tried. Right. He did very well and pet him on the head. He looks really happy. Uh, Here's the deal. Okay. Get out of here or I'll turn your cre your your mechanical beings to crap. Alright. Uh Finbar, roll an intimidation check with advantage from everyone's help. Hoop. Ace. Well, ten. ten. Yeah. No. Uh, he does not We're look good with dice. Like, look, I, I, I have literal robots here with me. Like, I got robots and these these crazy bolt thrower things. I'm not scared of you guys. We we have we have magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's the noise he makes. <laughs> Are you by chance resistant to fire? I could be. You don't know me. You don't know my story. You don't know me. I've had enough of this. Get out of the way. Ah, fine, you don't get your hundred gold, but leave us alone. Andre continues to stand in. Well, well, well now, now, now the... Now the tables have turned up, we'd rather start with her clock, so you know, you might want to bring that gold from zero to two hundred. Hmm. Hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty. Yeah, Andre good. turns on Gaunter. Oh. We're not fighting her. Yeah, if you value your life at, uh, the value of life, yeah, if you value the life of someone who saved your life at fifty, maybe have a bit more self -control. I'm just trying to get a good deal. I've had enough of this. We'll kill you and the other kobolds. No one survives! To battle! Uh, and I need you guys to roll initiative. Let's see if anything dirty is on the thing. Yep. I wonder if Matt will actually <laughs> tidy up after this contract. The answer is no, Adam. No, I... Yep, no. I, Very I good. I didn't realize you could type yeah, words in there. Yeah, I didn't put words in. I didn't know that either. Now I do. <laughs> Today is an educational day. <laughs> the more you know. Do, 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 do. I roll for the Herculactrum. Which is fun to say. I'll roll for Nick now. <laughs> Back to baby. Uh, did I get that last roll in? What was that for? That was the Sorcerer's. Yes, I did. Cool. Okay. Get some music on. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Roll. Mm. Okay. Oh, Descending order. God. It's running. My, my roll 20 is running a bit juttery. I'll have to see if that continues. I might have to turn the cameras off for myself. Okay. So, the first to go. Good job, Herculactrum. Get that zero. Is, uh, <laughs> is Finbar. Alright. Uh, Finbar casts a spell. Okay. Uh, nothing counterspells you. Cool. Uh, 
He is casting a third level chat on what's the radius again? The ten foot sphere. What? Oop! Right there. So hitting oh. those two guys up there and the banker. All right, cool. Uh, so I'm opening up character sheets right now. For some fairly bad tasks. Yeah, that's the most impressive start, but <laughs> we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Don't you worry, Take guys. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't know why I'm doing that. Just wait until Kaylin and I have our turn to fireball. Uh, right, so the Oaken Bolter, which is his kind of like walking ballista, uh, passes. Let me just check if they're vulnerable to, pull to it. Nope. Uh, uh, well, they, if they're oh. constructs, they have disadvantage. Oh, that is true. Okay. So it fails, so it takes 14. Yeah. Uh, the two stone defenders. Uh, oh, need to set them to roll two. The first one they passed Finbar's almighty spell safety. I mean, 14's fine. <laughs> okay, so 15 or 17. So the first one passes, the second one fails. So one takes seven. One takes 14. I don't think they're just double check. They're not. Uh, yeah, they're not vulnerable. Uh, cool. Uh, any oh, and then there's the banker. Let me just, yep. just delete this thing so I can actually touch the banker. Uh, he fails <laughs> and takes fourteen. <laughs> ah! No, my interest. Anything else, Finbar? Do you get white collar boy? <laughs> white uh, collar boy. I go hide behind Kin. Okay, you scamper <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All right. Uh, these two uh, cobalts rush forwards, and they're going to start stabbing Gaunter. Uh, right. So they get pack tactics, and they get two attacks each. So one. Oh. I'll turn Ooh, a little yeah. two on, but I think that first one can, can stand. I think it's, yeah, I think that was all right. I think that one's all right. One, two, three, four attacks. Yeah, Gwen's gonna shield after the crit because he can shield the crit. Well, he could try shielding the crit, but it wouldn't do yeah. anything. Yeah, still, still, still gets wouldn't the crit still hit? Yeah. It would still hit. Dick crit Damn. always hits. All right, so one of them gets through and gives you a jolly good shanking. Uh, at least it's not. A, at least their weapons aren't covered in shit. It's true. Their eyes are actually covered in money. Uh, then it is Andre's go. Right, so Andre's gonna cast a spell. Okay, nothing. Ca nothing here can counter spell. I'll just tell you that. Cool. Okay. Now I am casting I cast uh, a second level shatter. Okay. On the same spot <laughs> in my drop. <laughs> but before I roll, I'm channeling divinity. Yeah. You so I press the spell, but it will be twenty four damage. Okay. I'm just going to delete the little token. I know who it's hitting. Okay, so, so it's twenty four. Like the way you cast it at a lower level than me and got the same damage roll. Okay, 24 on Oaken Bolter number one. If there's one thing I can do, it's shatter. <laughs> Fail. Pass. So 24. Shat and 12. And finally, the banker. Aggressive banking. He. Explodes. <laughs> Gore and <laughs> you, you just drop two grenades on him. The second one, like right center mass, and he just explodes. And like coins come falling from the sky. <laughs> it's like a, a Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else, Andre? Uh, no, I'm good for now. Okay. All right, uh, it is then the kobolds go. Uh, Herc shouts to the kobolds, 
Scatter, my little friends, before they bombard us! And the kobolds, like, Aah! and like, they drop on their bellies and slide off. <laughs> Penguin style. Exactly. Like little slippery penguins. <laughs> uh, most of them sliding further down the hallway. Or just, just in general, like, running off in random directions. Ember starts playing a strangest game of Frogger. Starts sliding towards him. A Frogger? Like, you turn into cars and crush them as they try and get by? Yeah. Not the best draft. Alright, so they all... I'm trying to take a reverse. Slide away. <laughs> Ah, run away! Don't get murdered! <laughs> Alright, so they, they scatter. Uh, the two cobalt sorcerers, however, raise their scaly hands and fire a bunch of scorching rays at... Uh, they're going to fire one of the oaken bolters at the back. They're, they're going to just bombard this one oak, oaken bolter. Uh, so let's see. Oh, nope. Don't open the oaken bolter. Open the scale sorcerer. So they get free each, so that'd be one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, okay, and they hit on a 16, so uh, two hits for 18 damage. So they bombard this, uh, this bolter at the back, and you can see one of the bolters is very, very, very badly damaged, but not quite destroyed. Uh, like, ah, no! We could have done so much better! But they miss! <laughs> so the Oaken Bolters go. One of them is going to fire a explosive bolt at... Let's see, I need a five foot template. Boop, boop, boop. Templates, templates, where are you, templates? Oh. Perfect. A big bolt. All right. Bloom. So an bolt comes out of the butt one of them and explodes over there. Wait, which one is casting that? It's not a spell. It's a. Uh, it's just firing a bolt covered in explosives. Well, fuck. <laughs> which, oh. enemy, which enemy is doing Shit. this? Uh, this, this guy at the back here. Okay. Mosh pit! Which one did that? This one at the back here? Yeah, well, one of those two did it. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you guys all get bombarded oh. by that. This little fellow over here, uh, is murderized. Ah! Cobalt explodes. Oh. Better roll for the... Cobalts as well. Oh, <laughs> just distracts me so much. <laughs> uh, this little guy here, Jim, fails and takes fifteen damage, and the Herculactrum. Come on, that's twenty Herculactrum. I believe in you. Gets a zero and takes <laughs> uh, fifteen damage. That was a four. Ah, <laughs> uh, the other one. I mean, how smart are Oaken Bolters? They're fucking idiots. So it's going to try and harpoon uh, Gonter. Oof. It's going to try and lance Gonter once and harpoon him once. So Gonter, shot at you the first. Fifteen, shot you the second. So it fires these two uh, big bolts. But they uh, both miss. And it's going to like... Scuttle away around the corner because it doesn't want to die. Uh, okay, and that is the the Oaken Bolter's turn. Uh, the Stone Defenders are next. I, oh, I did miss something. I missed the uh, the Bronze Scouts. Should I click on them? Do, 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 do. Where are they now? There's 16. So I'll just have them go after my defenders. <laughs> uh, the two stone defenders are going to march to here. I don't think you missed them. They were at six, I'm pretty sure. I scrolled down and they weren't there. Come soon. Uh, and they are going to <laughs> lay into you. 
so oh, these yeah they were at six were? Because I was looking at like oh who's going after me I'm like oh these guys are going after me so... are you sure because I scrolled yes. down and could yeah, not see them, I see them too, like, who, like, I'm pretty sure, just I'm okay. pretty sure that they were they going they were after me at least oh, I know if, if you guys saw them you guys saw them I just couldn't see them all this low life vision Descending. Okay. Uh, so. Well, not too far. Where am I? Knickknack. Cobalt Sorcerer. Stone Defenders. So they move down to there, and they're going to both try and pound on Andre. Uh, Twenty AC. So, okay. So swing the first. Rah! Twenty-three. Right. Bye. So my reaction. When he hits me, he needs to make a deck save. Okay. Uh, you are also knocked prone, and the other one then gets to try and smash you with its shield for 23 again. Uh, the first one fails and takes 12 damage. He's also knocked back 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> 5, 10. Boom, bow, bounces into that wall, gets up all annoyed, and walks over to you again. Hey, that's rude. Oh, he's. Uh, he's not knocked, is he knocked prone? No, just okay. knock back. So he's 10, 15. Yeah, he just walks back up to you. <laughs> uh, right, and that's their turn. So yeah, they both smash you. Total of 20 free damage. And then it is Cadence's go. Well, I was going to... Is the explosion thing still there? Like, Is yeah, it like a continuous effect? No, it's gone now. I was going to, you know, remain neutral because they have a contract technically and I don't really know Cobalt too well and you know. But this fucking thing attacks me! So I'm gonna... Cast... A spell... Nothing here. Still nothing can counterspell you. <laughs> I mean, gonna... I can counterspell you if I assume you're gonna fireball me. I'm gonna second level spiritual weapon... Uh, I make it appear next to this guy. Okay. So I'll drag that in. Let that one is undamaged so far. Yeah, okay. Uh, spiritual weapon. And attack. Alright, so it appears and bounces off its thick armor. Ding! And then with my action, uh, action. Are, these, are these things both hostile towards my friends? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, little co the, the big chunky kobolds are stabbing Gaunter and the uh, metal men are bashing on a prone uh, Andre. Right, which one of the chunky ones looks more damaged? Uh, neither of them look hurt in the slightest. Oh, and these two robots? Uh, both are damaged. Uh, this one is visibly more damaged. Okay, so I'm going to toll the dead these two. Do you want me to roll separately? or Roll separately, please. Okay, so for the one on top. Ten. Okay. Wisdom save. He... Uh, he passes. So. And then for the one at the bottom... For seven, fifteen, he also passes. All right. Bankers are very wise, apparently. And then I'm gonna go send behind Finbar. Yeah. Nick knack like hides behind Which your skirt. Help. <laughs> okay. I, I was actually hiding behind you. Oh no. So brave, Finbar. So brave. <laughs> All right. So um, this metal. Yeah, he thing. got crit by Titan Molar yesterday comes skittering around the corner. This one comes skittering up to Gonta. Gone. Yes, Gonta. Uh, I haven't got these open yet, so one second. Bronze. Bronze Scout. Alright, so the one that goes up to... Oh, what's that? He's a creature. Ooh. Alright, it skitters up to... You and... Uh, each creature in mm. contact with the ground within. Yeah, so it comes up. Uh, Finbar, Cadence, and Nick knack Oh, Nick knack And his little cobalt buddy. Uh, Why would you do this? They, they don't have enough HP to survive, even on a pass, so they both get zapped. Oh. Nick knack reaches out for Cadence, but is electrocuted, and is fried by lightning. 
Uh, the other one would hit more of his own friends than anything else, so it's just going to try and bite. Uh, Does oil help in any way? Are we going to take a short rest after this? Maybe? Nah. Uh, that was on you, Gaunter. Uh, yeah, that hits fine. Any funky effects? No, no funky effects. Uh, yeah, no funky effects. All right, uh, so that's them. Uh, then it's Actually, wait. Go. When I fail a saving throw, I can do a thing. I can roll 2d4 and add it to the total. Wait, I'm going to do that. Okay. So you need to get uh, four or more. Woo! No problem. Yeah, so you, you pass. So that means you take nine. half as much. All right, so one of them runs over and just goes... <laughs> and light electricity goes everywhere. The other runs up and slashes and bites at Gaunter. The Hergalactrum! Don't worry, my oi, boys! Oi! Oi! I'm on my way! Oi! You, uh, skipped Gaunter. Oh, Gaunter, sorry, it's your go. I mean, I don't, I don't do anything interesting, but come on, man. Just, just going oi doesn't tell me any actual information. You were just making an annoying noise. You were like a football <laughs> yeah. fan. I was just about to say, yeah, that was very fun. Uh, so about that. So yeah, uh, five ball there. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you got any funky just bullshit you want to do? Uh, that, that's just oh. Yeah, cool, cool. I, I'm just imagining God for making the fireball, just kind of dropping it under him. All right. Now, so God, the... you know, like, just takes out a piece of shit, you know, bad Guam is like a piece of shit, and like rubs it, rubs it, rubs it, <laughs> like it sparks, and then the fireball erupts nearby. It's more shit. You just pour sulfur on the floor, and the fireball starts. What's half of twenty-eight again? It's fourteen. Fourteen. All right. So one of the bronze scouts is very badly damaged. The other is destroyed. Making Ooh. pancakes comes back on just to. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the stone creatures is destroyed. Unless, do they have resistance to fire? They feel like they're made of stone, surely. Nope. Uh, the other one is also destroyed. Uh, the two noble cobalt guards fail. fail. Oh, actually, that one did have magic resistance, so it passed. So it would take... Sorry, how much was half again? 28, 14. 19? 14. 14, thank you. 14 damage. Okay, so one of the stones thinks is very badly damaged. Both of the... Uh, one is destroyed, and both of the cobalts take the fire full in the face. Um, do they have any funkery that can defend them? Oh, they should come with... They do come with a resistance. I'll see what that resistance is. It might be fire. Six. Oh, that's it's, a banker. It's probably a resistance. It's fire. They are resistant to fire. So they take half of 28. <laughs> so they take 14. Damn it. They were resistant to fire. They were indeed. I, I really think it's banker. They should be resistant to what? Morality? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything, anything else, Anything that's I'm going to move five feet more, and uh, that's his turn. Okay. Hercule after I'm coming, boys! <laughs> uh, 15. <laughs> Gets to there. There with a sprint. <laughs> yeah. Dash to <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll be there soon. Um, <laughs> Finbar, it's your go. <laughs> Alright, well, I got this guy right up in my face. So, shunk! Uh, yeah, you give him a jolly good stabbing and he dies. Uh, if I can get his token to do what I want. There we go. So you just, like, bring out Dave and just right in the face. And I it's add, very dead. I add some more metal to it. Step over its corpse heroically. Do, 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 do. And, uh, do a flip. Guessing the other... Bolters look more fucked up. Uh, the, the only bolter remaining, the bolter up there has not been damaged. Really? Oh. Okay. Alright, I'll take one of the goblins then. Goblins? Kobolds. Okay. Let's go to the nearest one. This fellow here. Alright, you start 
hucking their Shunk. blades. Uh, yep, yeah, that hits for 15. And Shunk. Uh, that hits for another 7. Oh. Uh, it's still up, but, but all stabbed up. Cool. Oh, yeah, I've got ground. Hidden in the dark. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move up to... Let's just move to there. Oh. So I can... So I can still see Cadence around the corner. Okay. That's uh, me. The Cobalts are, once again... Oh, let's see, the first one's gonna try and stab Gaunter. So, stab one. Critting once more. Stab <laughs> two. Eighteen. Shielding thought because damage hurts. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna keep trying to stab you even though you're shielding. Bloop. Bloop. Alright, so you get stabbed once by one of these like little expensive looking spears. And then it's uh, Andre's go. Right, uh, I'm going to cast um I'm going to cast uh what's it called? Staring right at the word Thunder Wave at first level. Okay. So I'm doing it in this area here. Cool, yeah. So it's just these two guys. Yeah, that's fine. Bring the thunder. Could you roll a d20 for me as well? Cool. Uh, right. So 13 damage to the cobalt. And half of 13, so 6 damage to the stone defender. It's looking pretty rough by now. That's it for me. I take it you stand oh, uh, up. Well. I stand up. I stand up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, Nick Knack has uh, been electrocuted and lies on the ground, slowly bleeding out. Does he smell mouth. like? Does he smell like roasted chicken? Uh, he smells like dead cobalt. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that smells like. The two uh, cobalt scaled sorcerers are going to fire their flames at the oaken bolter. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, hitting it once for six damage. Like, we're trying! <laughs> <laughs> we're pa- they're f They fire from the hip, unfortunately. It's a like, plus just, four. <laughs> they, fire their, their, they fire from the hip. It's, it's not great. <laughs> I mean, they're like CR1 monsters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Oaken Bolters go. Uh, a damaged Oaken Bolter wheels itself round from the corner. <laughs> Stops here. Uh, and it's going to... It's got its explosive bolt, so it's going to use it. <laughs> Can't see Cadence, though, so it won't like deliberately try and get her. Uh, actually, it's going to just fire its normal bolts at Finbar. Yay! So, bolt number one. Pew! Bolt number two. Ooh! Oh, that one hits. Alright. So how, far did, how far did it go? It went 20, so it can just go... And roll back about this far. Uh, let's see if the other one gets its explosive bolt back, because it does know what Cadence is. It does not. So it's going to fire. Uh... I mean, it doesn't know how far down the hallway I am, though. No, but it knows you're like in that general direction. It fires a bolt at Finbar, <laughs> and a harpoon oh! at Finbar. <laughs> uh, the harpoon misses, but the bolt hits. Okay. Oh, yeah. That is their go. The stone. Oh, Finny's. <laughs> oh, Finny's. Uh, not doing great. <laughs> The uh, Stone Guardian is going to try and slam uh, Andre again. Tank fight. Uh, and then it is Cadence's go. Can I cast Spare the Dying on Nick Nick? Yes, you can. I cast <laughs> Spare the Dying on Nick Nick. <laughs> Alright. You see Nick Nick's tiny cobalt chest stop, uh, continue to rise and fall, and he looks peaceful in his little cobalt sleep. Okay, then I'm going to move over here. And so I can see my spiritual weapon, and I'm going to try to attack this guy with the spiritual weapon. Okay. 15? Uh, 15 misses. Fuck. Ding! 
bounces off its, its uh, armor. Wait, so that's 10, 20, 30. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Gone to. Um, shame I don't have Thunderwave prepared. That would be nice. It would. But I have something that's not as bad as well, so. Thunderclap. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, give him the clap. Pass. Fail. Fail. All right. The the uh, one who passes still takes half damage because potent cantrip. Ooh. Evocation mm. wizard, you can't escape the <laughs> pain. Can't escape that free damage. No. Uh, all right. You bang blast out thunder. Uh, could you roll a d twenty for me? Um, as you do so, uh, one of the stone defenders is torn to pieces and its rubble falls away. Uh, the two cobalts remain strong, however. Anything else? Uh, no. Except we'll say, Herculacra, uh, d d don't consume me. I was totally on your side. The Herculactra moves up, goes, it's like, I like my food rare anyway. Not well done and crispy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you're going to try I, I and... Look... I still look like a kobold on still he knows, he knows you. He knows you. He knows what you were about. Alright, it tries to engulf this kobold here. It successfully <laughs> engulfs the kobold uh, bank security. Uh, it makes a... And the creature is doing it. And it's engulfed. So it takes 3d6 damage. Uh, 13. All right. Uh, mm. The cobalt is engulfed by Herc, screams in pain, and then uh, goes still <laughs> and begins to dissolve within her. Mm, no, no. Within the could Herc. You drop any, could you drop any lucid head out, Hercum? Uh, it spits out a little spear and um, a little hat. <laughs> and that is the Hercolactrum's go. Well, Finbar. Keep the hot pants. <laughs> Finbar, you are now filled with big bolts. You're like, ah! Yep, these are like please. knives, but larger and more painful. At twice the size of my body. It's true. Uh, the one that I saw, like, move off and trundle around the corner, I had, that one looked pretty, really fucked up, right? I had, like, one wheel missing, and it had, it was, like, a little <laughs> bit on, it was a little bit, like, cracked and crumbled. It looked like it's having a bad day. Finbar's gonna try to run down this way, see if he can spot around the corridor. <laughs> Bumps into it, and this thing all right Ten. you hit it and you destroy it you just like stab into it and rip out a big important chunk and uh it stops functioning properly a hey. and but isn't that technically using a ranged weapon immediately uh i have crossbow expert all right yeah and because i attacked i get 10 more feet of movement so i can go this way and fit in keep in range so i can attack the other guy for nice. two. Uh, missing. Nope. Hitting. 19? for Six damage. Yeah. Double minimals. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, uh, five, ten. Do you know what? I'm gonna go prone. Okay, you go prone. Up, uh, I just shove my face into the dirt. The final remaining dragon shield roars, uh, throws away his shield, grabs his spear in two hands, and tries to stab Gaunter. Yep, been there. Shielding. All right, you burn up in our spell as you shield these angry stabs. Yeah, but you know, damage hurts. I know. Uh, Andre, it's your go. Um, Nothing fancy, I'm just going to cast my version of Toll the Dead on the Cobalt directly bottom left. Alright. Uh, it's face melts. And it dies. Um, uh, I'll leave it at that, I don't think a bonus action healing word is going to make that much difference to Finbar at this stage. Uh, Nicknack is stabilized. <laughs> 
The two remaining scale sorcerers are out of scorching rays, so they're both just going to fire a fire bolt at the oaken bolter. Ah, bolt. Two. Do better with their fire bolts than they did with their bloody scorching rays. Uh, doing six <laughs> more damage to it. Uh, and then it's the oaken bolters go. Okay. So roll a d6 to see if he gets his explodey bolt back. He does not. Uh, all right. Oh, he sees that Finbar is over there prone. So it's going to roll up so it's five feet away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Gangland Points. execution style. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to gangland execution uh, Finbar. So, 12 misses. <sighs> okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> to be honest, it's probably best that's on you. Yeah. Uh, it's 28. Okay, yeah, right, I'm so down. <laughs> it doesn't actually shoot you. What it does is it makes you bite the curb there, and then it just, like, rears up and slams <laughs> on your back. <laughs> um, and American History X is you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cadence, you're next. Okay, um... Glad I didn't bother for a bonus action healing word, do. Yeah. Let's see... <laughs> oh, that's that's not what I want to do. Go away. There we go. 25. Oh, Finbar is starting to go dead. Well... Finbar's a headshot right now. <laughs> but I want to use my bonus action to attack the fucking thing. I guess I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm gonna cast the healing word at Finbar. There you go. Repair all his shattered teeth. <laughs> mm. Um, and then I'm gonna just told the dead the guy that's standing over his corpse. Do you think in this world clerics are dentists? Uh, no, probably mm. not important to think about. Uh, he, he takes nine damage from your he, from your uh toe de dead. Yay. It's looking pretty beat up by this stage. Uh, not like very badly damaged, but it's definitely been hurt. Mm -hmm. Gone to... The only enemy that I see is that one, right? Yes. I too will toll it. For... Ooh, that's that's a good toll. Alright, it takes 20 damage. Bong. Boom. And I will try to... I can't because it's, uh, you know square, but I'll try to intercept myself between Finbar and uh, the big thing. Like, like reach out around the- DON'T TOUCH MY FRIEND! Please. Aww. Herculactum's like, ah, I love the spirit of camaraderie over there. So I'm gonna slam on up here. Slam. <laughs> slam. Slam. Excuse me, Andre. Oh, sorry, dissolved your boot a little bit. And, um, how- does he have reach? I think- no, he doesn't have reach! I can't rig it to him! <laughs> Doesn't that guy move with him as well? Like, <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> Maybe uh, he can use a body as reach a weapon. You know, like he, he dashes, so he's up up here. Does he dissolve skeletons as well? Slowly, no, him over time. Can they all work pretty well as a team? Can't he dash into a creature's space? No, it's life? an action to do his engulf ability. Ah, uh, Finbar, you are on the ground. You yeah. are your your teeth. Hurt really bad for a second, but wow. you had sudden magical oh. dental work done. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Machine. All right, there lies my problem. Was I was probably still prone. Stand up. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, standing. Uh, uh, slice cut. Slice cut. Uh, uh, miss. Uh, oh, oh god. Oh, there's a, one sec, guys. There's there's a there's a blister bolt in my eye. It's like. Oh God! Ow. All, right. All right, this is better. Nope, nope, nope. It was in the other eye too. Uh. <laughs> Andre, <laughs> that means it's your go. Finbar oh, looks burn. punch drunk. Uh. Removes boat from brain where it's. It's like a cool. Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's got the knife in his head. Um, I'm just gonna tell the dead answers uh, again. All right, it passes. Uh, um, and uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'm gonna stand menacingly in the way, and that's it for me. Okay. Save us, knickknack. 
Uh, the two cobalt sorcerers are going to firebolt it. Unless I have something better. I mean, I do, but I'm going to fuck it. Firebolt it! Ah! Miss! Miss! Oh, hit! For free. <laughs> <laughs> it's a preemptive call. Uh, all right. It's now the Oaken Bolters go oh, again. Shit. It managed to get round an entire thing. Let's see if it gets its explosive bolt back. Oh, no. No. It does. Oh uh, my god. Oh, no. Blaze of glory I, time. It's. I think it is. <laughs> it's, it's a construct. It doesn't care if it dies or not. Uh, I mean, constructs oh, are taking a long while to build. It should definitely care for its own, you know, utility. Oh man. There we go. There Would it, it specifically move it oh, so that it was still hit? Because I'm around the corner. Yes. <laughs> well, let, let me see if it can see you. But you you have I mean, me attacked. Yeah, yeah, it can see you. It, it, it probably tries. It's going to try and hit as many people as it can. So it clink, locks and fires. Boom. Boom. Oh, that could have been a lot worse. Hey, Finba can be conscious, you know, if he saves. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, so there's an almighty explosion. Oh, dex check for Hercolactrum. Uh, fail. Oh, does pretty well. Passes. No, fails. Takes 15. Why have you forsaken me, Og? Uh, and then it is Cadence's go. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna walk over here. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> You're slightly crispy um, now. Yeah, I'm gonna twin spell. Don't, don't. If you don't need to kill. Yeah, that'll probably be. What? You can't target the same thing twice with Twin Spell. And, oh, I you know. Can't. Oh, but I wouldn't worry about healing either, because once the thing's dead, you're going to take a short rest, almost certainly. Oh. Oh, man. I was just gonna... so you can. I mean, you can, them. but you just, you know, <laughs> then you're going to whine at me once you take a short rest about spell slots. I know Fine. this is too much to say, but you're probably better off just spare the dying him and having your spiritual weapon get involved. What He's reasonably mean? safe. Just spare the dying Finbar? Oh, you know, told the dead. Hey, on, yeah, I mean, works. Works. yeah, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna stabby stab with my spiritual weapon. Yeah, good first. Yeah, step. I'm just gonna fly yeah. over spiritual weapon. Eighteen for twelve. Ooh. You, how do you finish off this annoying fucking oaken bolter that? Like as I run up, I go, "Oh, this hurts!" Ow, oh, and like from behind, as it's like looking at me, like, "What the fuck? What? What are you running up for?" And it just goes like through the back of his head. It comes out the front of his eyes, like barely hitting, missing Finbard. You know, like piercing All into right. his so, face. Yeah, this well, kind of floats up behind him. This uh, this bell with wings floats over a second, and just like jabs forwards very suddenly and smashes through the thing's front. Uh, metal and gears oh. fly off in random directions, and it is destroyed. And with that, we can leave initiative. Uh, okay, but Finbar's still unconscious, though, so... Yes. <laughs> medicine check to stabilize uh, Finbar yet again after tomorrow's... Oh, I can just uh, cast, cast Spread of, I'm just going to cast Spread of Dying. Yeah, okay, I don't think really, there's any actual... Please cast things. Spread of Dying, dear God. <laughs> I'm not conscious to have <laughs> there's, there's two people Wait. here with healing spells. I imagine somebody is going to spare the dying yeah. or heal him. I am going to search Finbar for a healing potion. I you find uh, nothing. I use less spell slots, so I'll tr I'll burn the level one one to give him back some hit points. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I have a lot of spell slots left. You can, and I'll, I'll take it if you're out. Oh, okay. You also have. Oh no, I'm I'm not even nearly out. You cast more spells than me, is all I was saying. I did not. I only cast one second level spell. That's it. Ugh. Oh, I thought you healing worded did, him earlier. Did we get him? No. Did I? You did. Yeah, that's how he got me up. Oops. Before and, down. A, and one first level spell slot then, I'm sorry. Get up, get up. Then. You're right. I was a little too goofy. That's out oh. of my fucking music list <laughs> now. I've removed it. Uh, right, so. Uh, the fight is over. People are pretty beat up. A lot of fire got thrown around and electricity. And just those bolters, they hit hard, man. Yeah. I'm just thinking, we note here, remember to use bolters again. Um... <laughs> The fight is over, and Herc's like, Ah, I thank you, my good friends. You did good work today. Ah, those kobolds, they didn't want to be bankers, I assure you. It's a stuffy life. I remember when I was a banker, but, uh, for a different time. Anyway, do each of you want a blessing of Yog? No, thank you. A oh. appears uh, as uh, the real Herc and, uh, and tries to mimic the voice very badly. 
for I'm already blessed by Yog. <laughs> Very good, Gonto. That's exactly what I sound like. Although I don't think you quite captured my rugged good looks. I'd take any kind of blessing right now. All right. Uh, also, could you remove this? Point oh, of course. He, he. By the way, as he's speaking to you, you can see the um. I, I typed Yog into the compendium there uh, when I was looking for something. <laughs> then I went, oh, wait, Yog isn't a thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he as he's talking to you, you can see this cobalt just, like, floating in him. Very, like, visibly, like, melting. Dissolve. Dissolving. It's horrifying. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, he, he comes over and, like a, a, like, a tentacle grabs the bolt and, like, wrenches it out. And as he does so, he gives you a blessing. The blessing Ooh. of Yog. So you gain a boon. Ooh. You gain... So you can use this... Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to roll a d4 to decide how many times you can use it. Can we each roll a d4? Instead of you rolling... Well, one? You, 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 have to, you have to take... You have to accept the blessing. Of Yog. Alright. So... Alright, I will take your blessing only if I can bless you back. Uh, that, that seems quite fair. So yeah, you, Finvar, you can use it three times, uh, and then okay. the, then the boon is gone forever. Cool. Uh, Cadence, you can use it four times, and then nice. the boon is gone forever. And he like reaches out a slimy tentacle and like touches each of you on the forehead. It ve it's slimy and burns a little bit. It's kind of like somebody putting vinegar on your head or something. It's not great. I cast guidance on him as he touches me, Ooh, as like a blessing from my side. Tingly. Uh, anybody else want the blessing of Yog? Sorry, Hark. The uh, Storm God wouldn't be too happy if I went accepting blessings all over the place. I mean, you can bless him back. It's not really how the Storm God works. I'd probably have to strike him with lightning. Hmm. Uh, Ooh, Tingly. Gonter, do you it's better be a free agent like me. Uh, Gonter, do you accept the blessing of Yog? You muted, John? No, but I'm just like, how insane is Gonter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in your head, Finbar, you hear a voice going, Take blessings yeah, from Gonter other entities now? Yeah, Gonter blessing, no thank you. Okay. So <laughs> fin Finbar and Cadence, you just copy that down and put that in your traits somewhere. And you've yeah, got three it. and four uses of it, respectively. I look forward Good. to seeing how you implement that in the future, if you ever do. <laughs> but it's specifically, like, spaces that are no more than an inch in diameter. I mean, that's underneath a door, or like... Yeah. yeah. We, you we can scooping. poke holes in walls. This, this, like, Finbar's really happy with this, this good way of gooping out of, like, cells prison. and things. <laughs> yeah. It'll be good next time you're, you're in, in, in prison. Yeah. Uh, These kind Finbar, of things are great in the slammer. In your head, you hear, you're accepting boons from everything now. Very disappointing. I don't feel as special. Well, Boon you know, in for penny. <laughs> uh, the kobolds return, sliding on their bellies like happy penguins. Can I ask, what is Yogg the god of? <laughs> don't know. Family. Ro 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 Yogg is the god of family and tradition. Exactly. <laughs> family and uh, good clean eating. And uh, oh, that's really cook out. Nice. Ro ro you can oh my god, Nickback, you're just stable. How are you alive? <laughs> Blessed of y'all. Roll, roll A. <laughs> I just imagine rolling in this all just making like dolphin noises. Right, they, like, do you want me to roll bellies. like a religion check? Is that what you were Yeah, you can roll a religion check to see what you know about y'all. It's pretty high DC. <laughs> no. I mean, 20, because you know, Herc is literally there. No, 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could go on to repeat his religion check after the last No, nope, you did it before, you've had your time, your attempt. Yeah, last time, no. Yeah. No, uh, Yogg, you don't know, you just know what Herx told you. He's either god of, like, family, tradition, good, clean, country, Eden. I Risk run up it. to Nick Knack and I hug him. Nick Knack hugs you back, he's kind of oh. slimy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get a grip on him. Yeah, he's kind of like pops out, like, <laughs> pops into the air. <laughs> I get like a little napkin and I start like patting him, and they'll dry. Like, ah, that's like me. No, no. The, sacred, the sacred unguents. Uh, <laughs> uh, how is the stone here? Like the the side we are on. Um, out of the water, not like, you know, it's just to be out of the the, the muck. If it, if it goes up and leans against the wall, <laughs> it's pretty fun. 
Yeah, I think I think yeah. now is short rest time, uh, and I'm going to take a quick break to go and get some more coffee and some water because it's pretty. Cool. pretty I'm both tired and warm, so I'm going to oh, require. Brilliant. Well. All right, I have to go pick up my mom in 45 minutes. Remember? Yeah, yeah, but we're just going to take a quick break now. Just All right, can I re- can I roll the things and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. You roll stuff in the break and things, and I I'm going to take a quick break.